What's up, YouTubers? It's me, Tammy D. Shine, coming to you with another video. <sighs> Surprise! Yes, I cut my lock extensions, but fret not, I am going to redo them. However, I cut them for three specific reasons. They're very, very important reasons to me, and I figured I would share with you all those reasons. Keep in mind, those lock extensions I had in previously, they were great. Um, I wore them for a year. However, um, there were some growing pains and a lot of things that I learned. Uh, that was my first time ever doing them. I'm proud that I did them myself. I'm excited about doing them again, sort of. I mean, it just takes a long time. But aside from that, I did learn a lot. And first things first, um, the most important thing that I learned when doing your own lock extensions is your lock to hair ratio is very important, meaning the size of your parts. When your hair grows out, it needs to match the size of your lock. And that was my main problem when I initially did my lock extensions. At first, I had a lot of them, and then I did them... Um, some of the locks were bigger than the patch of hair, meaning I would take like this patch of hair and put a lot of um, a, a bigger lock on it. And when my hair grew out, it made my hair thin and I had a fat lock or I would have a big patch of hair with a skinny lock. So it's important for your locks to be the same size when they grow out, the same size as your hair when it grows out. So it's important to make sure that you measure your hair, your, your, hair. your lock to hair ratio is very, very important because as it grows out, you still want your hair to maintain the same size and fullness as if you had lock extensions coming from the base. And that's something that I learned that I did with some locks, but not with others. So this time I want a more uniform look when it comes to my locks. And that's the, one of the main, main reasons why I cut my hair. And, I, and it grew long. I had about um, five to six inches of new growth on some locks and some I had to redo. So I couldn't get a definite length on it. But um, it had grown about, I don't know if you can see it. About that much in some cases um, I had a really really good length but in order to get the locks out I had to cut underneath to where the um, hair lock to get the new growth so I can start over so uh, lock to hair ratio is very very important I cannot stress it enough I would take however much extra time is needed to make sure my parts are straight uh, when, and, and that's another thing I initially did the pinch and grab method just pinch and all that kind of stuff this time i'm going to do a grid pattern i'm going to do squares all the way through and then i'll just i'll journey that so i'll let you see um how that works out and i'm just looking on my phone for the other reasons oh the second reason was pretty much the same it coincides with the first one i wanted my top to be fuller after i redid them um, my top was laying very very flat i'm more of a person who likes full of hair even though you can't tell with this but i like for my hair to stand up off my head and now that i know what to do and how to do it i.e lock to hair ratio getting that symmetrical i'm going to do that this time and have a fuller top now the biggest reason the biggest reason that i cut my hair as you all know um, I initially used and I mentioned it in all my videos and in a lot of my comments sorry I just got out of the shower because I was working out now I'm still burning fat <laughs> as I'm sitting here anyway um, I initially used the Vivica Fox hair okay so um, okay so when I first got that hair um, I ordered it offline and when I got the box Okay, online it said 100% human hair, but when I got the box, mind you, I had already ordered 15 boxes. So when I got all 15 boxes, it said 100% human hair. And then when you look down a little bit further, a different type of font and a different color, it said quality. So it read 100% human hair quality. And at that point, my heart dropped because I knew at, I knew it wasn't what it said it was. It can't be like 100 because it's, it's saying like human hair. 100% human hair quality, 100% like human hair, similar to, that's what I get when I hear quality, the same as, but not the same. And that's what I gathered from that. But at that point, I was already 15 packs in. I really, really wanted to start my lock, so I stuck with it. Wore the locks for a year. And as you, you all saw them, they looked great. And, you know, the commented on them and you all liked them. However, 
after wearing them for a year, um, I tried to color them and everybody was like, oh no, it's a blend. I was like, no, 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 I have to find a way to color them. So I actually did find a way to color them. Um, however, they only cover, or colored in patches. There were a lot of strands that wouldn't even take and I believe that was the blended part, the plastic part, because you can't dye plastic with hair dye. So um, that was the thing, they, it didn't dye. And, it, and when I did try to, because I had them in and I dyed them, and when I dyed them, it was just dyed in patches. So it was like really splotchy and just gross looking. And then I tried to go over that color with a darker color and the color didn't spread across the locks evenly. And then it, I had tried to dye it so much because I was really determined to get a color after wearing them black for a year. I wanted some color, so I kept trying and kept trying. Got it to dye. Dye turned around and ate up the hair. So I'm like, oh my God. Ah. So, uh, for those of you who have not started your lock extensions and are looking to do lock extensions, do not, I repeat from my own experience and from paying a lot of money, do not get the Vivica Fox hair because it will not dye 100%. Now, like I said, I did get it to dye. And I'll show you what I used. Um, before I do that, I did buy, and like I said, I'm going to redo my locks, and I'll journey that too. Um, I switched brands. I got Lord and Cliff, and I put those to a test. Um, I ordered 20 packs of 1B, and I ordered five packs of 33 because um, I plan on doing um, a patch, you know, up here. I plan on doing a patch of it 33 and then I'm going to have the rest 1B and it's going to be long and, and small like the, the, the original ones. Uh, so this is uh, the Lord and Cliff hair. Now the Vivica Fox hair came in a bigger box and it had two bundles to each box. However, the Lord and Cliff hair comes like this. It comes like that and it comes in a little baggie. Well, mine did. I don't know how yours is gonna come. Came in a little baggie. And it's beautiful. Okay. Um, and I got the Lord and Cliff Human Hair Afro Puff, 16 inches. And it's the Lord and Cliff. I hope y'all can see that. Now notice that this one says, where is it? At the top, 100%, let's see, 100% human hair. It doesn't say quality. It doesn't say like 100% human hair. It doesn't say almost the same as. It says 100% human hair. And I can tell you when I initially pulled this out of the box, the texture is so much different. Because you can feel that plastic in the Vivica Fox hair. But this right here, ah, oh, oh, it's so soft. And look at all this hair. All this is 100% human. This is why I'm so excited about redoing them because I got the right kind of hair. How do I know? I'll show you just a second. Okay, so when I initially dyed the Vivica Fox hair, I used, to get it to dye, to get it to lift a little bit, I used a volume 40 developer and then I used, um, I used bleach number two, Clairol bleach number two. I use that for the Vivica Fox hair. Like I said, it lifted in spaces and in, in, in patches and blotches and it was splotchy and just uneven. So I was not happy with that, but I did test this Lord and Cliff hair. Mind you, this is the 33. You see how rich that is. It kind of looks like a 30 on the camera, but it's a really beautiful, let me put it against this paper. It's a really beautiful reddish color. And I did bleach this just to test and make sure that it lifts. And guess what? It bleaches. But I, I caution you that if you do decide to dye your hair, make sure you decide on the color that you want and stick with that for some period of time because this is human hair and it will eat up the hair if you dye it um, excessively. If you, um, if you dye it too much, it will... Um, It'll eat the hair and it'll start breaking off like the Vivica Fox did. I don't know if it did that because it was plastic, but you know, if you over dye your real hair, it, it won't um, it won't be healthy. So pick a color you want, stick with it, and go from there. So, like I said, I'm going to redo my lock extensions. I, I love this hair. I absolutely love it when I say it is soft. It is soft. 
there is no blend there's no plastic fibers in here because i've gone through and i've touched it and it it's a lot of hair this is the 16 inch lord and cliff lord and cliff lord and cliff do not from my own personal experience just don't get the vivica fox and and if you already have it you know uh, it sucks it really does because you won't be able to play with it like you can with the lord and cliff because it does take color really really well it's at first so the 1b of course is in the back and then you can see the color contrast that's how it looks that's me bleaching it this little strand here is bleached and I didn't add any additional color. I just bleached it and see what happened. You see that? It lifts. See that? The 33, of course, is in the background. And this little patch right here, is it bleached? And all of the strands bleached. So again, 1B of the Lord and Cliff bleach section looks like a 30. And then you have the 33. This section, I hope you can tell, it's like a pinkish color. It did lift. All the strands in the hair lifted. So if you're going to get lock extensions, go with the Lord & Cliff brand because you will be happy you did and you will be able to play with your hair, your style, and all that stuff a little bit more. So um, I urge you to stay tuned as I go through another lock journey. This time it will be permanent because I will get my lock to hair ratio right. And I got some great colors. Got a wonderful brand of hair. Great quality and i'm excited so stay tuned and i will see you next time youtubers and please like subscribe comment feel free to ask me any additional questions i try to respond to everybody and once i get this down packed i will come back to you uh, i'll show you my process from beginning to end as i did my first journey and i look forward to you um, enjoying this experience with me all over again so until next time youtubers be blessed.